Some people are just tired of living inside the city. All that noise, all that traffic, the the funny smells that be in the air. Especially when you come home and the entire street or complex is full and you gotta park way down the street. And because of this, most people are packing up and moving to the suburbs or more country parts of Charlotte. Charlotte has plenty to choose from. The hard part is gonna be which one that best suits you and your family. We came up with a list of eight of the most popular suburbs around Charlotte, and this list right here is gonna help you drastically in your decision making. A few of them are gonna be around 20 minutes away, so that way you still kinda get some connection with the city. Others are gonna be 40 minutes away, that way you got complete detachment, none of the hustle and bustle, pure serenity out there. Let's start with number one, which is gonna be Belmont. The first thing you wanna check out when you get there is their downtown. It's a super walkable place, it's historic, it's super quaint, it has a good amount of restaurants, some bars, it's just very, very welcoming. Now location-wise, Belmont is situated very, very nice because you're literally like 15 minutes away from the airport, you're about 25 minutes away from like uptown, and you literally can just take I-85 just straight into uptown, so it makes it very, very convenient. Now, when it comes to real estate, Belmont is becoming a little bit of a hot spot because people are literally, like I said, falling in love with this place and want to move here, which naturally means prices are going up. The average price in Belmont is $573,000. You can find something more affordable because there are 33% of the homes that sold around the 400 mark or below. But then also, the closer you get to downtown or the water, prices will go up. Another super important thing that attracts people to Belmont is the schooling system because schools are top notch rated anywhere from like eight or nine out of 10. That is one reason why a lot of families come here. Now, nothing is perfect and there are some drawbacks when it comes to Belmont. Now there is a few. If you are looking for nightlife, my friends, you're coming to the wrong place, okay? You want to be somewhere in Charlotte and Uptown. If you want something just chill, Belmont is it. The other thing is congestion when it comes to traffic, especially if you're commuting from work, you're hitting rush hour, I-85 is going to get backed up and you're going to double your commute time. Just north of Belmont, still on the same west side of Charlotte, is going to be Mount Holly. You're talking about 15, maybe even 20 minutes from the airport, which is nice. You guys want to live by the airport, but you like that small townish kind of feel? Mount Holly may really be a place for you guys. Mount Holly does have a downtown, right? Don't get me wrong. They do have something to do. It ain't a whole lot going on down there, but you have something. It's a couple blocks long, a lot of mom and pop shops. It's not that single, I'm a mix and mingle type of place. Now, here's the two things that attract a lot of people to Mount Holly. A, the greenery and parks. There's a lot of parks in Mount Holly. Second thing is the affordable housing. Over the last six months, you got an average of about 400,000. 26% of the 200 homes that sold were under 300,000. So you guys can still get in there for a very, very good price point. When it comes to school and diversity, the school system is pretty decent. Pine Elementary is gonna be a nine out of 10. East Gaston High School is okay, middle of the pack. You got about a six out of 10 when it comes to greatschools.com. So it's something to think about. Diversity is gonna be around 75, 25. Now let's get into one of the most popular and one of the most biggest suburbs that we have is gonna be Huntersville. When it comes to Huntersville, it literally is a suburb, which also means it's not very a walkable place besides one place and that you should definitely check out, which is Burkdale Village. Okay, that place literally has it all when it comes to shopping, when it comes to restaurants, you can actually live there. It literally has it. It has an Apple store. You know what that means. If there's an Apple store, this place is legit. And it also attracts a lot of young professionals that maybe work in Charlotte and then commute to the city because of the schools for their kids and the restaurants. Now restaurants, they are sometimes more like commercialized but nonetheless, you have a wide variety of options. Now, when it comes to the school systems, like I mentioned, Lake Norman Charter School is literally one of the best schools around. For US News Today, they literally ranked at 97 out of 100. Nationwide, this is in the top 3% and in North Carolina, in the top 15. That is absolutely incredible. Now, when it comes to real estate, 
because of the things I just mentioned, Huntersville is becoming very popular. So within the last six months, literally 500 homes have sold in the average price and around the 660 mark. Speaking of real estate, if you really want some waterfront property or just living on the water is on your bucket list, this next suburb you have to check out, I promise you guys. And this is none other than Mooresville. Mooresville has the most, when it comes to Lake Norman, shoreline or water lakeside properties that you can have. Everything surrounds the lake inside this little town. And it also has its own downtown as well. And this is more built up than the last couple that we talked about. You have plenty of bars, plenty of shopping. It still feels kind of old school Western like, and that's because you're so far up north. You're past Mooresville. I mean, you're past uh, Huntersville, you're past Cornelius. I mean, you're pretty far up north when it comes to Mooresville, Charlotte, to Charlotte. You you're probably talking about a 45 minute drive, probably on a good day. Same road, I-77 shooting up straight out there, right? It's Huntersville, a little bit more country-like for a price point of only about 526 to about 550,000, depending on where you are. Now, if you're living on the right side or more east um, of Mooresville, then you guys are gonna be looking in that half a million. You can find some stuff in 400,000. If you talk about west or living closer to the lake, you're definitely gonna be in a million even if you're talking about something that's a mile from the lake or something, you may pay $700,000 for a two bedroom, thousand square foot house. Now let's travel on the opposite side of where we just were. And we are going southeast of Charlotte into a suburb called Matthews. Matthews is a very cute family oriented suburb about 25 minutes away from Uptown, which offers a ton of good things. They have a good amount of restaurants and bars when it comes to their downtown. They have 15, yes, they have 15 parks. So if you're looking for outdoorsy stuff, this place can definitely deliver. They have a good school system. Now, this one is not a separate school system. Matthews is part of the Mecklenburg school system, which has about 176 um, schools in it, which is like over 140,000 students. So they're gonna be part of that system. Now, another thing to mention, of course, if you wanna live there is the good old real estate and real estate in Matthews is also creeping up, kind of like everything is in Charlotte right now because it's such a hot spot. But Matthews is becoming popular where the average home price is around $650,000 and about 500 homes have sold within the last six months. If you don't wanna necessarily always deal with the hustle and bustle of the city, Matthews actually has some big employers there. They have Harris Teeter has set up shop there. You have Poker Tech that has a facility there. So technically you could find employment right in Matthews and never really have to leave unless you wanna go into the city like for a ball game or so or a date night, you know, and experience something different. And this next one is gonna be super country. Country suburban, right? Country suburban to a degree. And this is gonna be Waxhaw. If you're looking for a tight knit, I mean, family friendly, oriented environment, everybody is outside waving, greeting each other, super low on crime, quiet, you can hear a pin drop every single time you step on the front porch, Waxhaw is definitely going to be the place for you. Now it's not in Mecklenburg County, so it is in Union County. The hard part about Waxhaw is because it's one of the fastest growing suburbs around Charlotte, and because it's coming from an agricultural or an old farmland community, there's still a lot of single lane roads there, right? So traffic is gonna get, not even talking about going into Charlotte, just in the town itself, traffic getting bad. When you talk about school buses, everybody getting off work or everybody going to work, all at the same time. Infrastructure is not there. They are building up a lot too as well. They're not used to having these new apartment complexes and all that other stuff. So the infrastructure is struggling, the people in the town are complaining a little bit, but it is a great place to be if you really do want that country suburban. Buying a house in Waxhaw. Can you find some affordability? Yes, right? But on average right now, over these last six months, it's been ranging between $840,000 and $860,000 on average over the summer slash late spring, right? So it's gonna cost you quite a bit. Let's get into the last couple, which is gonna be Cornelius and Davison. Cornelius, which is easy accessible when I-77 from uptown, or you can get to the airport fairly quickly. Now, there is a twist 
like I said, when it comes to Cornelius, what makes you so special because if you want to live on the water, yes, it can get very, very expensive when it comes to single family homes, but it has the advantage there are also a bunch of condos or condo communities right on the water, which makes living on the water more affordable. So when it comes to single family homes that are not on the water, okay, the average price is around $645,000. Now you take that home and you put it on the water and we're talking million plus, okay? But the condos, they're roughly condos and townhomes is on the water that you can literally get into them around the 485,000 mark. So there is a significant drop in price and makes it more affordable to literally walk out your front door and put your fees into the water. Now the schools I mentioned is Cornelius Elementary School, William Amos High School. Those are definitely some of the ones you want to check out if you think Cornelius is the place that you want to take your family to. Now let's go check out the last suburb on our list that we should definitely talk about. Devante. Now this next town actually shares a school district with Cornelius. That's how close they are together, right? About an eight, 10 minute drive apart, but totally different vibe, right? And this is Davidson. When I mean a totally different vibe, I really mean the affluence. Davidson is ranked statistically around the neighborhood that talks amongst the people as one of the most affluent areas in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. There's a lot of old money when it comes to Davidson. You can feel it when you walk through. You can see it when you're driving through. A lot of big houses, very, very affluent, something to think about, but it also is a college town as well. Now, is it dead when college is not in session? No, right? You still have a lot of people. It's a small downtown area that you can walk for a few blocks, have your cafes. Kevin's favorite coffee shop is there, Summit Coffee. He be talking about these Ethiopian beans that I don't drink, but is it's, it's some stuff going on inside of Davidson for sure right again you have to have a little bit of money to live here you're close by the water five to ten minutes away so you already know that's hiking up prices right there one of the most famous or across the North Carolina area um, neighborhoods that's in Davidson is uh, the river one the river run country club that's a tongue twister the average price point though inside of Davidson is going to be eight hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars in order to buy a house it's gonna be nice don't get me wrong but it's still that's the average price point in Davidson right now is it diverse in Davidson not really you're talking about an 83 to 17 kind of split there right that's a long list we started up north went down south ended north again we was on the west with belmont and uh, mount holly so we covered a lot of different towns and suburbs inside this video as always we hope you guys enjoyed it I don't really have anything else to say. Kevin, any of your famous last words? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for hanging out with us again today. We appreciate you. And hopefully, like Devante said, you got some value out of this video. If you're moving here, we would love to hear from you and help you make that transition from wherever you're coming to, to the beautiful city of Charlotte or the awesome suburbs surrounding it. Until next time.